Hey guys, Justin here with the Satellite Phone Store, and today I'm here with one of my buddies, Gene Nagata. Nagata, right? Yeah, All right. or Potato Jet. Or is, Potato uh, Jet. Most people don't be asked. So most people know as <laughs> Potato Jet. He has a pretty big channel that especially covers like film, cameras, action cameras, drones. Like he has a lot of cool stuff on his channel, and you can check that out in the link up here. But today I wanted to ask you a couple questions about the Starlink. Ooh, yes. So we have the Starlink Mini here. What's your experience with Starlinks? So I have the original Starlink, which was awesome because you could get internet everywhere, but it is pretty big. I mean, I have this whole backpack that goes with it and then it's like a stand with a swivel and it has to like move around. It looks like an old satellite dish. I don't know, it's kind of cool, but also kind of inconvenient and annoying to have to set up. So this is amazing actually. I've never seen this or even held it. May I? Ooh, yeah. This is it, huh? That's it. So this is the modem and everything. Modem yeah. and, the, and the antenna. That's crazy. So yeah, usually like for my setup, it's the antenna and then that wires over to the modem, which you have to put somewhere else. And then you have to like then plug it in. But this you just have straight into a uh, power bank and that's it, huh? Yeah, that's it. So this will get you a couple hours out of it. And yeah, I mean, compared to like, or the other thing I guess is, does yours work when you move? No. So you have to be stationary. Yeah. So this one works when you move. That's awesome. This is way easier. And I didn't even have it that long yet either. Like how old is ours? Like two years or something maybe? Technology is just constantly evolving. That's crazy. So all you really need to do is have this and plug it into a battery and that's it? Yep. Or you can plug it into the wall, obviously. So this has the, this has the antenna satellite dish thing you don't, it doesn't need a swivel thing. Uh -uh. It doesn't need a stand. Well, I guess this is the stand, huh? Yeah. Just like that. And it has, there are different attachments you can put on here. So if you want to put it on a post. Uh -huh. And then the other thing is that they say best practice is to point this northeast. Okay. So I imagine like that's probably where predominantly most of the Starlink satellites are still sort of in that part of the hemisphere. Okay. Um, but yeah. And then you plug it in, turn it on. And is this like a special power bank or is this just like a regular I mean, one? not really. The only thing that's special about this power bank, so it requires about, I'd say 40 to 50 watts output. So this one has a 60 watt and 100 watt output USB-C. And then we're, Satellite Phone Store is selling a special cable that you can use or you can just use the AC adapter. So th this has a AC which a lot of power banks don't have like an AC output. Yeah. You know, it's just like, it's just USB. Um, this one, this power bank does have that, which is really nice. And I think like being able to use that, especially as like, you know, recharging batteries. Yeah. You know, if you need to plug in a battery and recharge your drone or something like that, you could use this, you know, and like, so it's not really like anything that special. This is probably the biggest portable, meaning that you can take this on a plane battery that is out there with the AC adapter. Interesting, so this battery is unique too, huh? To a degree. Gold yeah. zero, so. This is the Sherpa, I think one, what is it called? There's, it's the Sherpa 100 AC. And then there's just another Sherpa 100. So it's the same size battery, it just doesn't have the AC on it. Oh, okay, the AC plug is kind of nice, isn't yeah. it? But I mean, a hundred watt output. So how many watts does this take, you said? It's like 40 to 50 40, watts. 40 you can to 50? see, it'll, okay. it'll show you the usage. So okay. right now it's 19 watts out, 23. So it's fluctuating. Okay. Like I can see on Oh, so here. 19 to 23? Yeah. It, okay, that's not it's, bad. It, so that's another big thing about the Starlink Mini is that it's much more uh, power efficient than the older units were. Yeah, so this should actually last a while, huh? Yeah. Because says, this is 2.3 hours till empty. And it's and at and 55%. Right, so yeah. full charge, you could probably expect to get well over three hours, you think? Probably. Something like that, that's yeah. awesome. Yeah. That's crazy that you could do that with this little now. Yeah. Wow. How do you use your Starlink? Uh, remotely on the van, like remote work while we're in the van and we want to camp out at a spot, that's awesome. And, you know, if I want to take some pictures and I, I need to, like, send, upload it to an editor or something, it's nice to be able to just really work remotely, you know. Uh, yeah, especially out of our camper van, you know, just being able to just, like, be out in a beautiful spot, but a lot of beautiful places don't have reception. Or for work too, you know, like if we go and do a shoot somewhere remote like this and then we need to start setting proxies, uh, uploading those to editors and all that. So it is awesome to have, but yeah, I just don't 
care for having to set mine up because it is this bag. It's like literally, it's like you take out the bag and then you take out the satellite and then the then the stand and you assemble that thing and then there's this huge cable that comes out of it <laughs> and plugs into a modem. You got to figure out where you're going to put this modem and then you have to plug in that and then plug that into the wall. It's not as fun as this is just like boom, boom, boom plug on and you saw internet it. and I fit it in this bag, which I could have had my I could have had my sleeping bag in here, my tent, my sleeping pad, like, and had the Starlink and the battery and the solar panel that charges the battery. This is crazy. And this works while we're moving also. Yep. So I could mount this on the top of the van. I and just then... rode from in a van uh -huh. in negative, in, in freezing temperatures. So it was like on average about negative two degrees going mm -hmm. from Montana to Milwaukee. And we had this zip tied to the top of a van. <laughs> and it worked the whole time flawlessly high speed internet well we got to the hotel that we stayed at for a few hours just to catch a little bit of sleep the i was like man where's my starlink my internet's better in, with my starlink than the hotel wi-fi oh uh, yeah i'm not surprised i yeah. mean you were getting what 200 down basically almost yeah and then about 10 up yeah so the upload speed isn't quite as fast as like the the full size one sure but the down speed is 200 like you usually don't need more than that right? yeah totally so huh yeah and under normal circumstances tens plenty of speed sure unless you're uploading heavy videos and photos but right. <laughs> aside from that this is plenty of speed yeah. this is awesome i love how i love how it feels just like a little notebook and like a little I don't know, <laughs> it's like stuff. nothing yeah it's nothing this is <laughs> this is i <laughs> Have you seen the backpacks they used to sell for no, the full size one? No. I've got one. I should have brought it so I could show you. I've done one on the. It's big... like having this thing on my back. Like, yeah, right. Around, like a turtle, <laughs> you know? Like, this is sick. <laughs> I've done the, the big high performance one, which is what you'd use for like Enterprise or something uh -huh. like that. Or if you really needed those like upload speeds, you know? Yeah. But uh, yeah, I mean, this is just meant to be something that if you needed mobile high speed internet anywhere, you got it right there. So yeah, anyway, Gene, thanks for talking about this yeah. thing with me. And I'm buying one. Where do I buy? Huh? <laughs> Satellite Where's phone that link store. in the description? Huh? SatelliteFoneStore.com or Starlink123. I love how you're talking about that you're going to use the Starlink for work when it's reality. It's like, I just want to watch Netflix. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> <coughs> Guilty. Thank you, Carrie. <laughs> <laughs>